Ladies and gentlemen, this is David Silverman, president of American Atheists, and today I'm going to present to you holiday cheer from Christians. Every year we get so many joyful Christmas cards from Christians all over the country seeking to make sure that we have a joyous Christmas, and I just wanted to uh, share a few of these. We'll start off with this very pretty one, this very pretty one right here with a pretty tree. It starts off with, Merry Christmas, fascist pinheads. Fascist pinheads. Fascist is unfortunately not spelled F-A-C-I-S-T, but he did spell pinheads correctly. Our next letter comes from somebody who uh, gave us a nice card. I, 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 you know, the cards are nice. Here we go. Uh, May the hope of Christmas and the love of Christ bless your days with peace and happiness, wishing you his joy and peace this holiday season. But wait, there's a note. Sorry, want be sing you in heaven, but just know even if you don't believe, the Lord, he still loves you. That's good. Wow. That's, I'm convinced. May God bless you at Christmas. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Luke 2.11. I have a city. Sorry, won't be seeing you in heaven, but even if you don't believe in him, he still loves you, Jesus Christ. May God bless you at Christmas for all that you do to light up his world through the year. Merry Christmas. Oh, here's something from Jake Tate. Jake Tate, what a nice guy. Kill all atheist Jesus lives in schools, state, and worldwide. Christian love. I love Christian love. It just makes me so, gives me such a warm feeling. I can't believe you people are so stupid. Of course you are not. You, like most people who are terrified of celebrating the birth of Christ, make up any story that suits your twisted thinking. I feel sorry for you and the rest of your ilk. You believe in nothing. Capital letters. You have nothing to look forward to. You have nowhere to go. All capital letters. The only certainty is that you will end up in hell with Satan. John Correggia. Uh, amazingly, I don't think there are any misspelled words in this one, which is just very encouraging. Somebody went to at least fourth grade school. Just a couple of items, Mr. Silverman. He called me Mr. Silverman instead of Davey. That's a, that's a plus. Uh, you guessed, so shall I. Millions and millions of children in the first world countries are forced to use indoor toilets rather than to dump on the lawn or in the living room carpet. I have never found an atheist in a foxhole. Okay, we've changed subjects. I've never found an atheist. I've, I've, I have bever, not never. I have bever found an atheist in a foxhole. And I have dug dove into and fought from a fair share of them. I suggest that you have not. God consciousness might not stick when danger passes. But it is never gone and will return if you ask him. Operative words, ask humbly, urgently, insistently. Keep begging. You are likely not accepted from death. Accepted, E-X-C-E-P-T-E-D, accepted from death. Uh, if beyond is nothing, you win your bet, but will not know that. This is true. Uh, if there is God, there is his judgment. Soiling yourself is fear, not contradiction. Soiling yourself is fear, not con, and it's not contradiction, it's contrition. Soiling yourself is fear, not contrition. Soiling yourself is fear, not <laughs> contrition. God knows all. He, is, he knows if I'm soiling myself. God knows all. He is giving you the freedom of choice. You might consider what will be if you are wrong. David Strongin. David Strongin. Nice, David. Thank you. Christ is born. May the wonder of Christmas always live in our hearts. Have a wonderful Christmas season. 
We don't tell you what to believe. It would be wonderful if you didn't preach what you think others should or should not believe. What's next? <laughs> Going ISIS? Remove your anti-Christian ads. Concerned American. Oh. <laughs> good, thing we, good thing they don't do that. Oh, here's something uh, intellectually stimulating from Rick Dudas. Uh, you're a fucking tard. I do believe you came from the ocean, turned into a monkey, and here you are. That makes more sense, huh, dickhead? Thank you, Rick. Children are being forced to go to church? Mine were also forced to go to school, dentist, and doctor. The religious formation is just important to teach out children. The religious formation is about is important to teach out children. Thank you, Rosemary Gunset, who does not believe any children are being forced to go to church anywhere. <laughs> what an incredulous inc inf imagination you have. This is from Mary Ann Murray in Great Barrington, Mass. I know where Great Barrington is. Uh, what an incredulous imagination you have. Such a stupid excuse makes no sense. No one has to force people to go to church on Christmas. Are people oblivious? I have been a Catholic for 71 years and have never heard such a response. If you do not believe in Christmas, now Christmas is real, Jesus isn't, but Christmas is real, or do not want to go to church, then you are free not to do so. But to, but to try to eliminate religion for others is as obnoxious as you can go. Please cease and desist such stupidness. No. Next. A Christmas prayer especially for you. Wishing you many blessed moments as you celebrate the birth of Jesus on the wondrous night that will never be forgotten. Merry Christmas. Sorry, won't be seeing you in heaven. Just know, Lord still loves you, even if you don't believe in him. Uh, and here's something from Alex Healy in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I just wanted to say thanks for all your efforts on behalf of atheists everywhere and to share something that you would not have expected without your Facebook page. Yesterday, I commented on your post about foxhole atheists. I just now talked about how I actually found out that one of my friends is an atheist and is being open about it and helped me open, helped me be open about me being an atheist. Later, my mom apparently saw the post and sent me a message that said, I think we are more similar than you know. I knew she was talking about, but I wanted her to say it, so I played coy. She brought, she brought up the post and said that she was questioning Christianity and that she preferred to think of it in terms of facts. I have met many out atheist friends, but never figured that, figured that one of my parents would come out to me as opposed to the other way around. In conclusion, thanks again for what you do. Alex Healy. Wow, that's a great way to end this segment. Thank you, Alex. Since 1963, American Atheists has been fighting for the separation of church and state and the civil rights of atheists. But activism is expensive, and all of our important work is funded by donors and supporters like you. Please take a moment now to go to atheists.org slash donate and make your year-end tax-deductible donation to American Atheists and Atheist TV. Thank you for your support, and from all of us at American Atheists, Happy Holidays.